guys, Europe Essentials here. So I have a lot of magazines because I mistakenly subscribed for them without even knowing. <laughs> so I have accumulated tons and tons of magazines over the years. They still look good, so I felt guilty throwing them away. As you can see, these are 2015, 2016, some of them are 2017. So they're pretty old and I didn't want to throw them away. So instead of that, I'll show you guys two different DIYs which you can use old magazines for. I'll be starting off the first DIY with three large empty boxes. I cut it down to the size that I'll be needing and because I'm using a whole box, one box will give me two pieces of cardboard. So three boxes will give me six pieces of cardboard. I will use this magazine to see if the depth will work but as you can see, it's kind of small, so I'm going to add six more pieces of cardboard. I'll be making holes inside the cardboard where I'll be inserting the magazines and the depth has to be really deep for the magazines to sit comfortably inside. I'm going to roll each and every one of them. And before you start, you're going to have to make sure that they're all the same height. You see this two here, one is shorter than the other. So what I did was to separate them and make use of the shorter ones for this first project. After rolling, I'll hold them tightly with zip ties. It has to be really, really tight because the tighter it is, the stronger it's going to be. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. If you have thinner magazines, you can roll two together. These are incredibly strong, so I'll be using them to make shelves. I'll be using five for each shelf, because I'll be making three shelves. I would love for the final design to reflect this part of the magazine. So I'll be moving the zip ties to the back and making sure that this part here is clear. The shelves that I'm making will be in the middle. I'll measure the thickness to give me an idea of how wide the hole I'm going to make is going to be. And for the shelves, I'll be making one, two, and three. Now to keep everything tight and strong, I'm going to be gluing them together with school glue. I hold all the boards together with tape to make sure that they all dry tightly together.
Now it's time to insert the magazines. I made sure that the magazines fit tightly inside the openings. If you notice, I'm twisting the magazines to make sure that I have the pattern that I want in front. I'm going to keep them firmly bonded together with wood glue. Don't forget to put something at the bottom so you don't miss out the floor. Now I'm going to leave everything the way it is to dry overnight. I'll be gluing this fabric on the outer sides of the cardboard. I'll be adding mirrors that I got from the Dollar Tree to my design. Now because of the weight, I would love this shelf to hang flat on the wall, so I'm going to make a provision at the back to make sure that it sits comfortably and flat on the wall. I'm going to have two long screws on the wall, and this is going to sit on the two screws like this. I also got picture frames from the Dollar Tree, and I'll be making use of the glass and placing them on top of the magazine. You can have something else at the top if you want, but I personally will love to see the designs of the rolled magazines at the top. I'll be covering the front and the sides with foam boards. I like to add more style to this, so I picked up a design that I made some months ago for a different project that I never got to use and added to the design. And the link for the decorative mirror pieces will be in the description box below. For the second project, I'll be making use of the taller magazines. I'm also going to be making use of the very thick ones. I drew circles on the cardboard and cut them out, glued them together and put it down while I arranged the magazines on top of it. I'll hold everything together with long zip ties that I got from Home Depot. I'm making a tufted puff. So to make sure that I have perfect tufts, I'll be using the larger magazines on the outside to make it easy for me to use a staple gun for my tufts. After I tied everything down with a second zip tie, I realized it's really strong and you can leave it the way it is if you like seeing the magazines outside, but I want it tufted, so I'm going to go ahead to add extra board at the top and gluing it with a hot glue gun just to keep it in place. And then I'm going to wrap the whole thing with foam, batting, and then I start making my tufts with a staple gun.
I cut out the excess fabric and then I'm going to be attaching a round board on top. I shifted the pins because of the size of my board. I'll use wood glue and screws to attach this board to the bottom. I'm using this particular wood because I need something strong that will hold the caster wheels that I'll be attaching to it. I covered off the staple pins with crystal buttons and this is how both of the items turned out. I love the fact that I can see the magazines through the glass and the design of the rolled magazines look like wallpaper. I hope you all enjoy this idea of turning old magazines into an interesting looking poop and shelving. I forgot to mention that I used mirror mosaic tiles to cover up the rough edges. This is such an awesome idea and I know your friends and families are gonna love it. So don't forget to share it with them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.